AMP, I got some film. Watch this. You see that? Morant freezes him with the look away Hezzy, then blows right by him with the left. Oof, that's filthy. You have to respect the floater. You can't play drop. I'll be in his pocket. Good. You gotta be physical. If you give him any room to breathe, he's a bucket. For sure. Uh, now watch this. You see how much space he gets on that first step? Hey, MP. Game time, MP. Let's get it. MP, MP. Everyone, the NBA season still young, but we have excitement in the air as the in-season tournament reaches the final game before the knockout stage. Alongside Grant Hill and Steve Smith, Allie LaForce, our reporter, I'm Brian Anderson. So let's take a look at the Phoenix Suns starting lineup. All the stars on the floor for the Suns. Booker and Beal, the backcourt, and KD up front. MP is out there with Yusuf Nurkic. And for the Grizzlies, Moran and Bain in the backcourt together. Then it's Jaron Jackson, and it's Williams in at the small forward position. This is the fourth and final game for these teams in the in-season tournament. And Grant, with both sides going winless in group play, there will be no advancing to the knockout round. You know, B.A., I'm sure for both coaching staffs, bigger fish to fry when they consider their regular season standings. That's the larger picture they've got to focus on. So Phoenix will get the first possession. All eyes tonight will be on the matchup between Ja Morant and MP. What a treat tonight. This is the first ever meeting between the two. You think about the raw athleticism that Ja Morant brings to the table. One of the toughest players to contain off the dribble. And once he gets in close, he can finish over anybody. You know, I'm very curious to see how MP comes out and sets the tone in this one. You know he wants to make a statement in this game. Now here's Williams. His offense has been solid, scoring around 11 and a half points a game. And it's Morant missing. It had been a long time since Murray State had produced an NBA star. John Morant changed that narrative. B.A., he certainly did. He's now the highest average scorer in the NBA out of Murray State. This dude is an animal, a walking bucket, if you will. One of the purest shooters we've ever seen. Durant doesn't need time to get set up. Williams on the wing. Three-pointer. Rebounded by Nurkic. Phoenix has gone one or two from three-point land so far. Outside Booker. To the middle. Here's MP. Excellent D there from Moran. Memphis has gone 0 for 2 from outside. Williams passes to Bain. And another miss by Memphis. Three straight misses to begin this contest and already starting to look frustrated. Three-pointer, Beal, and the Suns get another three. Yeah, great awareness there from Booker. A selfless team-first player. Outside Bain. Pass to Jackson. 
from deep. Moran. That one goes. Now he's one for two. Exchanging buckets from downtown. That's been a staple of tonight's game. Hey, players love competition. And the fans love it as well. Now here's Durant. And he's been a big part of their offense. Averaging more than 18 points a game. KD's jump shot is pure. It's been a staple in his arsenal for a long time. Deal against Bain. And here in the first, approaching three minutes play. Here's Morant, bearing his second of three attempts. With the ball on the string, John Morant is toying with the defense. Beautiful. Grant, when you look at the Memphis team from last year, everyone was under 30 years of age. Yeah, and a lot of upside there. But the move this summer to bring in veteran leaders like Marcus Smart, I mean, he fits their timeline, B.A., and can also balance some of that youth with experience. Taking two shots. down the first one. Every year we hear a bunch of wild Bradley Beal trade rumors. It's because he's that Just good. The ball. And they the Grizzlies with some changes. Clark is checked in for Jaron Jackson Jr. Jackson comes in for Stevens. And Smart subbed in for Williams. And the Suns also making a change. Allen, he's checked in for MP. He does not get the second one. Memphis trailing here. Two minutes remaining in the front. A minute 58 left to play in the first quarter. Smart for three. It's hauled in by the Suns. Nurkic has got four rebounds in the game. Here's Allen. The shot no good. Smart with the defensive effort. And so it's Smart who brings up the ball for the Grizzlies. Their first chance to take a look at the Suns this season. Yeah, we saw how combative yet enjoyable last season's series was. Two very excellent teams going at it. And it only promises to get better coming into this season. These two squads are very evenly matched, and each game between them should be a blast to watch. Here's Morant. The Suns getting their last shot to go. Clark with a screen on Allen. Hey, the pass to Clark. Ooh, Durant with a steal. A minute nine left to play in the first. Can't get it to go. He's made three. He's missed three so far. The Grizzlies have gone two of six to open up this game. From deep, Bain. He buries it from three. Efficient from range. Desmond came into the league with a sharp three-point shot. Durant against Jackson. Durant, the pass to Allen. Now here's Beal. Tightly guarded. Nurkic a screen on Smart. Three on the clock. Here's Beal. And the rebound goes to the Grizzlies. Missing that one helps out all the analytical guys from the mid-range. Here's Clark. Oh, Clark with the slam. A great decision from Smart. He's all about doing what's best for the team. Jackson against Durant. Pass to Booker from outside the arc. That's good. And so Durant with the assist. Easy look when the defender isn't fighting over the screen. Reason why it takes extra energy to do it. You have to trust your defensive rotations, but it's worth it. Clark with a screen on Booker from deep. Morant. That shot is off. And that concludes the first quarter of play. The Suns on top, up by four. And we'll get things started in the second quarter when we return. If you're just joining us, we played through one quarter in this one. And let's get your take, guys, on the scoring breakdown for Phoenix. 
Well, in my opinion, the way the three has been falling for them here early on, you have to think they'll keep firing away. They've also been quick to set up their teammates, wasting no time making the extra pass for the open look. Jackson out there with Brandon Clark. Then there's Marcus Smart. Then it's Jaron Jackson. And it's Kennard in at the shooting guard position. That's the group for Memphis to kick off the second quarter. Now here's Allen. He's scoreless. They get it again. Three-pointer, O'Neal. That won't go. Misses his first shot of the game. And it's the Grizzlies with the ball. Four-point game. Kennard passes to Smart. Shoots over Beal. And it's off the back of the rim. No good. Phoenix has gone three of six from deep so far. Marcus Smart traded last summer, Graham, bringing his defense to Memphis now. Yeah, Smart was such a fixture for the Celtics for so long. The way he plays should fit perfectly with Memphis, a great addition for the Grizzlies. Beautiful location on the pass, as usual. Led his man perfectly. Here's Kennard. And he's going to the line for two. The official saw contact while he was going up. Well, Smitty, Luke Kennard doesn't have a complete game, but his shooting is elite. Yes, B.A., as a knockdown shooter, he is one of the best in the business. When he gets it going, he can bury you with his triples. First free throw is good. And for so long, it seemed like the early part of the season was for the diehards with the casual fans tuning in around Christmas. And this in-season tournament trying to draw more attention to this early part of the schedule and create a little more early drama. The Grizzlies making a switch here. Williams is checked in. Kevin Durant, he's checked in for Phoenix. MP comes in for Gordon. And that one goes in. Two from the line that time. Making shots at the line. You need a good routine, and he certainly has one. Beal surveying the D. Pass to Eubanks. Back to Beal. Nice. Gets his second bucket. He's two for four now. We all know Beal might be a shorter off guard at 6'3", but Bradley has heart. He plays way bigger than that listed height. Here's Jackson. And the dunk by Jackson. And once he gets to the rim, it's fairly automatic. Nothing fancy right there. Just takes his two points, moves on. A chance here to catch up with Allie from the sideline. Well, through all the stress and the turmoil of recent years, Bradley Beal's one of those players who was willing to open up and acknowledge the strain. He said, quote, it's okay to feel down, to talk about it, to be a human. A lot of times I think I'm a superhero or I can kind of figure things out on my own, but it's all right to rely on people. Brian? Yeah, you have to. It's all part of being a great teammate, no doubt. Thanks, Allie. And the Grizzlies with possession here. Following the score by Phoenix. Durant against Jackson. Pass to Jackson. The three is up. Sinks it from distance. Nice play. And credit Jaron for being shot ready. He knew the play was coming to him. And he knocked it down. Now here's MP. Allen outside. And about three minutes played now in the second quarter. Here's Beal. Again, the Sun's good for two. Are you serious? <laughs> what a sweet move. Broke his ankles on that one. And so Smart will bring it up for the Memphis Grizzlies. Trailing by five. Kennard against Beal. Here's Jackson. The shot comes out. Some solid D from Eubanks. The Suns have gone four for six here in the second. Allen outside. Pass to Eubanks. It's Beal on the wing. And count it. Now five for seven. The consistency of Beal's scoring has been terrific. And of course, his teammates keep working hard to facilitate to him. Timeout called, the Grizzlies. And as the coaches draw up their strategies, the players staying hydrated with some Gatorade. That's key to keeping them at their best all the way up to the buzzer. 
It really is. And every one of those players knows it. They're all making sure to stay hydrated. It's impossible to play your A game if you're not getting enough to drink, especially towards the end of games when the physical toll of a long contest really starts to add up. Memphis ends up going with a new group. Yusuf Nurkic, he's checked in for the Suns. Booker comes in for Allen. Body control from Morant. Able to take the hit and power through it all. Booker, the pass to MP. There's 53 seconds left to play in the half. Pass to Beal. There's a screen by Nurkic. Five to shoot. That one falls. Coming off Beal's feed. And the Suns lead by seven. Nurkic operates so well out of the pick and roll. He sets hard screens, and he's a reliable finisher. Gabriel passes to Stevens. Now Morant. Down low. And he can't bank that one in. Booker surveying the floor. Screen by MP. Fires the three. Booker can't get it to go. Outside Moran. From deep pain. And again, it's the Grizzlies from deep. Making use of these corner spots. Bain is especially dangerous from this area. Bradley Beal has been leading the charge for Phoenix. Eight points in the quarter, showing how effective he can be. We're coming right back. Don't go anywhere. We'll get to the first half action in just a second, but first, let's take a look at where teams are sitting in the power rankings. You know for the Grizzlies, they're in a tough spot. I mean, look, that's about as lightly as I could put it. Yeah, a lot of season left, but to echo your thoughts, Kenny, they need to figure something out before they get buried. And moving on now to Bradley Beal. How terrific has he been so far in this one? He's been on one, aggressive, but at the same time, under control. And no one has stopped him yet. What's incredible is his consistency. He's looked focused and out to prove something tonight. Thanks for joining us. Time to head back over to the third quarter with Brian Anderson. second half action for you. Thus far, a pretty evenly contested game. How about Bradley Beal having a dominant impact in this game? I like how they control... 